everyone, welcome. I'm Susie Cantor. I am Curator of Exhibitions here at Yerba Buena Center for the Arts. Um, I'm really excited to welcome you to our Artist Artist Conversation for July, which is a monthly conversation we hold where we invite two artists to ask each other three questions um, so they can just get to know each other a little bit better. And this one is great because we have uh, Rami KD and Jessica Moneymaker Brown right next to me. And they are here because they are part of YR, they worked with YR Media, and because they're part of our current exhibition, Suzanne Lacey, We Are Here, which is in our galleries. If you have not seen the exhibition, I recommend you all see it. This exhibition is really, um, really special for YBCA because it focuses a lot on youth. And one of the big themes of the exhibition is representation of youth by youth in the media and the way that youth can tell their own stories. So. Um, we worked with a lot of really great organizations, Youth Speaks, Media Justice, and of course, Wire Media. So um, I'm so pleased to have these two lovely people right here. Um, and I'm going to hand it over to them. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You're so fine. <laughs> you, you want to start off? Or wait, I can ask you who you are, even though I know who you are. <laughs> um, who are you? Uh, how old are you? Where are you from? What's happening? I am Jessica, but people call me Jess. Um, I also go by Moneymaker. That's my um, artist name and my producer name. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Oakland. I'm a producer, artist, A&R, engineer. I wear a lot of hats. Uh, that's, that's pretty much the basics. Now, who, who are you? Ooh, um, I'm Rami. Um, I'm from Oakland. I'm also 18. Um, just graduated. God bless. Um, and I like to draw and paint and do stuff like that. When you were starting to get ready for it, like, how do you get in like the headspace to start making a beat? I mean, I always wake up like trying to make music. It's a part of my life who I am. But I, I pretty, I wake up like that. Like I wake up, I'm like, hmm, I'm trying to make music. Um, how I get in that headspace? Sometimes I gotta get like, it's weird y'all, but I gotta get like fully dressed. Like imagine you, it's like Sunday morning, like nine o'clock in the morning, you get fully dressed like you finna go to church. Like I would throw all my designer fits on, probably like some, some Coke White Forces, and then I like make music as if I was in the studio. I, I feel like it makes me work better, but that's pretty much, that's my, um, my spiel. LED lights too, it set the mood y'all. Trying to put you on. How long have you lived in Oakland and what's your future looking like in Oakland given the current state of gentrification? I've lived in Oakland my whole life um, and now like a bunch of my friends are all leaving and have left and got evicted and everything like that so I'm just like I don't recognize any of the people <laughs> um, but just like I don't know if I'm gonna recognize it um, by the time like I graduate college or anything like that um, so I don't know what it's gonna be like, but um, if, yeah, this is kind of like a sigh when I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah. Um, but how do you how do you navigate creative blocks as an artist? Ooh. Ooh. Um, I feel like when I just like I have my hand on the paper, I'm trying to figure out what to do, um, and I'm just like this looks like. Argh. Um, then I'm just like, I just try to do something else. I just start like drawing circles and then like, I try to like draw something from like life or something like that. Cause then I'm just like, I can't make that look bad cause it already looks cool in life. So like, I can't like mess that up. Or I just start scribbling random stuff. And then eventually it turns out into something kind of cool or I use it for something else. Um, and then like, I'll just be like, I'll just keep working on it until it actually looks like something instead of a bunch of like shit. Um, and then like it turns into something cool or I could cut it up using a collage, yeah. I gotta ask you now, how many uh, notebooks or like just pieces of paper, well the hell of papers, um, you went through just like scribbling? All of my homework through high school is covered in doodles oh and God. everything like that. And then like, I think there's more doodles in there than there are actually notes. Um, and just like at, through like the seven years I've been like at school, like I got like maybe like 20 full sketchbooks or something like that, like 
because you, you got to go through a lot of paper. <laughs> it's just how it is. Um, you paint a lot of portraits, so what's your process like for painting portraits? For when I start doing portraits and stuff, I like doing portraits of like people in my like my like queer family or like friends and stuff. And so I just like take a reference picture um, and just kind of like boop, put the picture down and then like start like all the cut up paper and stuff. I start like start placing it down, trying to figure out where it's supposed to go, um, and then spend like 16 hours trying to make it look good. Making art of the people that I like and that is family with me. It's just like the stuff that I like to do and that's type of like, like, I don't know, like honoring them through that or something like that is kind of like what I want to do with my art to begin with. So, yeah. How do you find inspiration when you make beats? Um, well, I mean, I'm money maker. I'm, I am the inspiration. <laughs> um, uh, usually I'm like, I always listen to music, so I actually, I sleep with like music on, like playing, so I wake up to music, and usually that, the music, whatever is playing, is like, what I try and make, or I guess like, yeah, like make music around, so, um, listen to music, what else do I do? Oh, you gotta have that, um, it's not called Animal Planet, Planet Earth, Netflix, I put that in the background, you know? <laughs> or any type of cartoons. Uh, I find Incredibles 2 is, uh, I work very good watching Incredibles 2 in the background. What was your first sweet moment as an artist that made you like want to keep being an artist? For this year in my school, like we got to do like a senior show type of thing. Um, and so we basically got like to have like our own little space in like this room to like put all our art up and work for like a semester on like all the pieces and everything staying up till like 5 a.m. every day trying to finish my art type of thing, trying to make it look good. Um, and like actually like paint like the walls and everything and like make it look like your own space and everything like that. And like I was just like really proud of myself because like all day I spent like, well I can't do math, but like over like hundreds of hours on this and it actually looks good. <laughs> and so like that like made me like real proud and I was like, oh, you know, I'm graduating too. Like this goes all together really well. Um, and I was just like, I think that was like kind of like the, the good spot for me. What is some of the like best advice you've gotten for like making like your beats and your music? Mr. Fab actually said something that was, uh, damn, what was the quote? Grind, grind to you, um, grind to you don't have to introduce yourself anymore and then introduce yourself. And that one stuck to me because I know I'm gonna be rich and famous, like I said. Um, but then that also reminds me to humble, humble myself. I'm a Leo, I like to get a little bit cocky. So, you know, it's times when I gotta bring it back down and remember where I came from and everybody who helped me get there along the way. What about you? What, what advice would you receive? Best advice you receive? I feel like something that is like good advice and that I've gotten, but also gave me hella anxiety, was just like the art's never finished of just like, like your thing is never finished. Like you can always work on it more and like you always gotta work on it more cause like you might think you're done like right now but it's, you still gotta like make it better. And like, I don't know, like you can do that with like life too or something like that. Um, like um, it, you're never done when you think you're done. You always gotta keep going and stuff like that. Even though it's kind of corny, but it's true. So mm. 